Hey Blues, this is how to say my name. Mark Gill. Mark Gill. Mark Gill. Hey. Okay, so now everybody knows how to pronounce Mark Gill. So it's not Mark Gay anymore. It's not Gay you you. It's not uh, whatever we were pronouncing for ever since we've been linked with him. Many people don't know how to pronounce his name, including me. Now he's telling you exactly how to pronounce it. It's Giyu. Giyu. <laughs> you hear me? Hey, Blues. This is how to say my name. Mark Giyu. Mark Giyu. Mark Giyu. All right. So now that we know how to pronounce his name, we need just... Uh, Tosin Adarabiyu, come here and tell us how to pronounce his last name. And Dewsbury, Dewsbury Hall need also to come and talk to us. Chelsea, we have always some complicated names. You know, it took me like two weeks to learn how to pronounce Chukwemeka, Aspilicueta, Arisa Balaga, it's always a struggle. <laughs> Anyways, people, all the jokes aside, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good whatever time you're going to watch this video. God is good all the time. Smile, say hi to people. It doesn't cost anything. It helps some people to go through their lives. You know, saying hi to people just helps. And also smashing that like button. Not gonna cost you anything, it's just kind of say hi to me. <laughs> and it helps with YouTube algorithm. Okay, anyways, no blah 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 blahs anymore. So by the time of recording, I am I was watching this game here from uh, Brazil because I have some some channels here that shows uh some Brazilian football. So every time like Estival William is playing or Kendry Pius is playing, I can be able to watch some games. So this guy been destroying people for fun and somebody need to stop him. Look, you have to know that, you know, those people got families. <laughs> they got families and you have to stop being rude. <laughs> Anyways, I can't show you the entire thing because it's going to be copyrighted, but you got the point, right? The brother is destroying people. It's uh, I'm recording this video on the break, like half time. So I'll go back and watch a little bit more and then watch also Copa America. So Estiva William, our brother, is doing pretty good. I can't wait to see him. And uh, looking back, we're going to be like Olise who? Because we have Estival. Okay, that is another topic for another day. We continue. I have a question for us. Chelsea are busy on the market looking for a left-footed defender. But, okay, okay, be with me here, right? Don't, don't jump quickly to conclusion. Hear me out. Malangsa is a left-footed defender. He can play as a center back. He can play as a full back. He can play as a midfielder. The few times, few games that he played under Thomas Tuchel, he was amazing. He kept even a clean sheet against uh, Brentford where it was wave after wave after wave of attacks. And I remember we were going through a, a crisis in the defense. Uh... Even Ruben Loftus-Cheek played as a centre-back that day. That's how bad injuries were. And that's why I don't believe that it was only on Pochettino last season. Because I think Chelsea been struggling with a lot of injuries way before even Pochettino. That is a, another topic for another day. The point I'm trying to make here, here is why are we paying this brother 120k? every single week for him to stay at home. I don't think he's that bad. He played in the final of the club World Cup and we won that World Cup with Malangsa 
on the pitch. He's he's good. He's solid. My problem with Malang Sa was mostly because of the money that he's on. And Galaga is like three times less than what Malang Sa is on. That was my problem. But he didn't choose. He didn't tell Chelsea to go out there and pay crazy amount of money for him. That is Marina's problem. So my problem is every time people try to be evil toward our own academy product, especially Galaga and Mainso Mount, when they try to negotiate their contract, and I see certain people like him or Raheem Sterling getting a ridiculous amount of money, and you call Galaga greedy, blah, 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 blah. I am like about to explode because that has nothing to do with football now anymore. It has something to do with hate, discrimination, and stupidity and evil. So that is my only problem with Malangsa. But he can really be a very solid option from the left-hand side, from the midfield, and he's left-footed. He's 24, I think, can still improve. So keep an eye open. I just don't like people who got some kind of mindset. You are good or you are bad. You can't improve anymore. It's done for you. Your life is done. You're not going to do anything. You're not going to finish school. You're not going to go to university. You're not going to buy a car or a house. Your life is done. So there are so many people like that on social media who try to talk dirty about players just because of the narrative because of the bandwagon. In terms of football, I still value Malang Sa. But in terms of money that he's on, it's a little bit questionable. So the question is, can we give him a chance? If we can't sell him, if you bring me Califiori, somebody in that caliber, and you sell Malang Sa, no problem. But if you can't find a club for him, why can't you just give him a chance? Stop the mindset in the community. Even our managers, they have a mindset. They have the players that they like. They already pointed what player they're going to work with. And the rest are nobodies. Remind me of Danny Drinkwater. When he came to Chelsea, he was probably the best midfielder in the Premier League with Angolo Kante. We wanted to recreate that midfield solid. And when Sari came, Sari told him immediately, I don't count on you. I have Jorginho. I don't want to work with you. And he was like, listen, I'm going to prove you that I can do it. And Mauricio Sari mind was already done. Like you are bad. I'm not going to work with you. I'm not going to give you a chance. You see? So the mind was already set and it kills him. He started drinking. Instead of drinking water, he started drinking wine and beers and get in trouble, get depressed, and we killed his confidence and his career. Doesn't mean necessarily that Danny Drinkwater was a bad player. It just, when the manager don't trust you, don't give you equal chance to prove yourself on the pitch, you lose confidence. So keep an eye open on this brother here, uh, Mr. Malang Sa, because it could be a very good option for Chelsea. Why not? Let's continue. Today was a, a little bit very, uh, a little bit quiet beside the presentation of uh, Mark Giyu. Uh, nothing really was going on. We were expecting Enzo Mareska to say something or let's say Dewsbury Hall to be presented, but it was really quiet. Only Mark Giyu was the main topic. For the rest, is just the same recycled news all the time. Califiori, Chelsea are still interested in such and such. So it's just kind of boring to repeat the same thing over and over in every single video. You know what I mean? So that's why we are just having fun here. Uh, but Chuai... So called Batman moving to Galatasaray. So this guy, Bachwai, is the guy who won us this 
the last Premier League that we won under Antonio Conte. His goal is the goal that won us the league, if you remember that. So a lot of respect for Michi Bachuai. And he's one of the few people that played for like, let's say, let me give you an example. You play for Chelsea, you play for Arsenal, and then you play for Tottenham Hospice. So all the enemies, but the rivalry over there in Turkey is worse than in the Premier League because in the Premier League is more friendly, but over there it can get physical on the pitch and off the pitch, right? So you understand that this brother played for Bekistas, Fenerbahce, and now Galatasaray. Enemy of enemies. He doesn't care. Galatasaray, he's signing on free because Jose Moreno didn't want him at Fenerbahce. So what do you want me to do? If your rival is giving me a contract and then I have to go. So good luck to the Batman and the video. Oh my goodness. Sick. Sick video. Anyways, let, uh, let's move on very quickly here. So Mark Way. Mark Gui, you see, even me, I'm still confused about the name. And welcome to Chelsea. I'm very positive about this kid, 18 years old, no experience, no nothing, only one goal in the senior level with Barcelona. But I am very, very positive. He's going to turn to be a killing machine. And for 5 million, you can't go wrong, my friend. So Chelsea made a lot of money so far. Uh, 103 million according to transfer market and then Aston Villa 88 million Newcastle 80 million Manchester City 28 million West Ham 26 million Everton 20 million okay so uh, so far so Chelsea can still sell many players like Gallagher or Chaloba and many other players from the academy or whatever and we could end up here by making a lot of money and balancing books we don't have any problem with the financial fair play for this season my friends i had a question i have a question to ask you do you like the new chelsea home kit away kit it's okay i can tolerate because it's black and black always goes good with every other color you know black is black the best but when it comes to this kind of painting design i think naki been disrespecting chelsea for years i'm sick and tired of naki get them out bring samsung and adidas at chelsea because they always produce classy classy home kit and this is a bunch of nonsense i understand that you know when it comes to colors and design depend on the person i respect people's choices but come on man even my kids can't design such a shirt it's just like paint all over the place the design is horrible but for today's generation probably this is the kind of design that they like but i'm sick and tired of flipping naki all right, Tosin Ad Adrabioyo on Instagram, he put uh, like John Terry. Wow, John Terry lifting the Premier League. Is him sending a message that I want to win the, the, the Premier League with Chelsea or something. Hmm. It's going to be very interesting if we're going to win it, but why not? And look at this guy, Mark Gill, with a Chelsea classic shirt back in the day when we were sponsored sponsored by auto glass i think mark mark giu wasn't even born back then but he's enjoying some classic shirt from chelsea uh so nice to see nice to see ngolo kante so this brother is in another level Red wine, getting better and better every single time. 
So he has now played more European Championship games without losing than any player in the competition history. He's breaking Xavi Hernandez record. Congratulations to A. N'Golo Kante. Wow, red wine. Getting better and better, man. What a player. So that's it. Today, the domination in the, in the Chelsea news was just Mark Gui or Giyu. You see, I'm still confused. And other news are just the same old copy-paste recycled news. Califiori and also Alexander Isak, you know, stuff like that. But nothing really serious today, let's be honest. <laughs>